guys, Luke Suhani here from Campus Rack, registered massage therapist. Today we're gonna show you some self-care tips for your feet and lower leg. Um, the feet often get ignored and I don't honestly treat feet very often uh, unless requested. Um, some common complaints that people have is uh, pain kind of along the arches, um, specifically on the medial or inside, um, and also pain sometimes right at the ball of the foot. Um, the odd time with kind of bunions and stuff like that, they'll have pain here as well. Um, but these are some things you can do at home. If you have flat feet, sometimes you'll have some discomfort as well, um, as those muscles are usually pretty weak and um, there's a lot more stress put on the joints. So what I like to first do is just kind of wrap my hands around my foot. You can do... Essentially, I'm just grabbing below where the toes are, so a little bit below, and one below each toe, and then you're just gonna kinda one push and one pull. So you're gonna kinda do opposite motions, and then you're gonna move to the next two, and then you're gonna do the same thing. Three, over here. Doesn't have to be perfect, just kinda wiggle them around. Basically, you're just getting those joints moving. Nothing forceful, just gentle. You can move down a little bit more and do the same. And if you're feeling it maybe more up there, then you could certainly kind of move it a little bit higher too. Okay. Then you're gonna kind of grab all the way around your feet. Now note that I'm actually, it's kind of hard to show because I'm the only one filming here, but I'm sitting in a chair cross-legged, like with, well, with the one foot on the ground and my other foot across, okay? So for positioning's sake, to make it a little bit easier. Um, so I grab my hands around and kind of bring my thumbs together. And then, you know, you can kind of just do some light stripping. I kind of call this massage or uh, muscle stripping in the massage world. And you can kind of just make your way down the foot can use lotion for this. I'm not, and it still works. So, I mean, it, it kind of depends. Um, if your feet are kind of a little bit dry, then you might need some lotion. I personally find that gel works the best or kind of um, like a thicker oil. I guess you could use oil. You're probably not gonna have a gel at home because <laughs> I find lotion just really soaks in. So, just use a little bit of oil, whatever. Even some cooking oils would work in a pinch. If you have coconut oil even or something like that, it'd be nice. Okay, and then you can even get, I have really big hands, so I mean, I, I'll still use like only, I use like three fingers sometimes just to be able to get my whole foot, but. So you just kind of glide up like that. And again, you can just change positions. So if you kind of start on the outside, then you can kind of move your way in and then to the other side. So that's kind of more of a broader muscle strip. Um, you can kind of do like a spreading, kind of like you're spreading bread, like dough. So essentially kind of like this, and then you're just pulling apart. Okay. If you want to intensify it, if you find, you know what, I'm not really getting that much pressure, this is kind of hard to do. Um, you can grab the ends of your toes. I put my thumb underneath my toe there and then I grab my other toes and I extend them so I pull them again not forcefully or anything not to the point where it causes any pain or anything like that and then you can already see like that's one of my tendons there that one of my deep flexors so that's putting these muscles some of them into a stretch and so when I do like a strip like this down with my thumb it's gonna feel a little bit more intense um, it's not gonna hurt you or anything but it uh, will make the massage a little more intense. So, and you can apply this in kind of any of the other areas that if the other MTs have showed you videos um, on massaging different parts of your body, if you put the muscle into a bit of a stretch and you're able to still do that technique, it'll be more intense for you. So that's a tip for you. Um, another thing we can use is the ball. So I have a lacrosse ball here. If you have a tennis ball, um, or I mean, I'm sure you could find these online cheap. 
Um, but any, any hard ball, really, even, I don't, I don't know if you have like a bouncy ball or something, like something bigger, super ball or something, like even if it's smaller than this, it would still work for that purpose. Um, and essentially you can kind of mimic the same technique, so you can still kind of, you know, glide and strip along the foot and kind of change positions. And same thing, like you can try to kind of actively um, extend your feet, like so extend the toes there and then strip along and that'll make it a little more intense, okay? Um, and then I guess in the next, I'll make another little short video showing what we can do for the calves, okay? Thanks.